Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, former Chief Justice Mokweng Mokweng said of the public protector that she is the embodiment of the biblical David, that the public who fights the Goliath, that is impropriety and corruption by government officials, and that the public protector is one of the true crusaders and champions of anti-corruption and clean governance. Now, the Constitutional Court found not only that former President Zuma was in breach of his constitutional duties in not enforcing the then public protector's remedial action, but more significantly, that Parliament was found to have failed to hold the President accountable and thus breached its constitutional duties. Now, that judgment remains a serious indictment against Parliament. We cannot afford to make similar mistakes when appointing a new public protector. And the ACDP has listened carefully to the various reservations about Advocate Galeka's independence, including her finding that the allegations that President Ramaphosa had acting in a manner inconsistent with his office re regarding the Palapala Pala issue could not be sustained. Now, this finding flies directly in the face of the Section 89 independent panel, which found there was prima facie evidence that the President may have committed serious viol violation of the Constitution as well as serious misconduct. Now, I would like to say again, Chief Justice Mokwen stated that the public protector's investigative powers are not supposed to bow down to anybody, not even the door of the highest chambers of raw state power, and that includes President Ramaphosa. The ACDP regrets that it supported the appointment of Advocate and Kobani. We made a mistake, but we will not make the same mistake again and will not support this appointment. We trust, however, if the appointment goes through, that Advocate Galeka will prove us wrong. Whilst we are speaking about the biblical David, I want to thank the speaker for opening the session in prayer for peace in the Middle East. We need to pray for peace for Jerusalem, as we are constrained to do in Psalm 122. And our hearts go out to all innocent civilians, all innocent civilians in Israel and Gaza, but particularly those who were savagely murdered and butchered by Hamas, including a 65-year-old South African granny, including babies that were murdered. No country would allow these unspeakable atrocities to go unanswered and would do everything in its power to defend itself and its innocent citizens and save the innocent hostages. We demand the release of those hostages. I'm Israel Chai, and remember Hashem, who watches over Israel, neither slumbers nor sleeps. I thank you.